Teresa. Mama and Paloma can't know I'm alive. Juanita could find out. She'll come here and kill us all. Teresa? Why do you guys keep saying my mom's name? Because we heard her voice, little Ethan. I know we did. It's just silly. This is Gertrude. Are you sure about that? Of course. She's my new nanny. No. I know my own daughter's voice. It sounds just like her. It's you, isn't it, Teresa? Mia, please turn around. Answer me, please. Teresa? It is you. It's a miracle. Oh, oh this is just too embarrassing. I'm just Gertrude. Well, if, if that's true, then, then turn around. Let us see you. Oh, no. Oh, no, I can't turn around. Oh, no, I haven't put my face on yet this morning. That, that makes no difference to us. Oh, well, it makes a huge difference to me. I mean, I've always been very particular about my appearance. But you let little Ethan see you with all your makeup. Oh, well, the children, they're allowed to see their nannies at their worst. <laughs> oh, you sound just like my daughter. Yeah, my mom, that would be impossible. She was a late-night snack for the Hungry Sharks. Little Ethan? Oh, Oh, ignore him. Oh, yeah, he has been saying things like that. I think it's just some kind of defense mechanism to help him cope with his grief. But uh, he should stop saying those things. I mean, he must know that it upsets his grandmother and his aunt. I'm sorry. It's okay, me. Sorry. Right. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I thought you were my daughter. It's just it was... Uncanny when when we walked in, I could have sworn. Oh, that I will just take that as a compliment. Well, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna go go ahead and put that makeup on. Could you uh, please wash the lathe for me, please? Of course. Oh my! Oh, that's better. I just can't start to be without making myself beautiful. <laughs> See, Grandma, it's my nanny Gertrude. Yeah, if you thought I was little Ethan's mother, well, I will just take that as a compliment, because I hear she was just beautiful. Oh, <laughs> she was all right. Gorgeous, right? No. She wasn't? What? You don't resemble her. No, not at all. I don't know, it just... It sounded like little Ethan was talking to his mother. I'm so sorry for the misunderstanding, but as you can see, uh, it's just Gertrude, little old Gertrude, you know, not your poor daughter. Oh, no. Well, I'm sorry. We, we just jumped to conclusions. Our minds must be playing tricks on us. We were just talking about my sister and how we both wish that she was still here so much. No. Yeah. The grief is about killing us both. Don't you worry, little Ethan. Even though your mom is gone, you still have your whole family to take care of you and to make you strong, okay? That's right. That's why it's important to all of us that we stick together. You wouldn't know it from what goes on in this house, but family is all that matters. I know. We'll keep you close, okay? Oh. Well, you know a little sweet thing? You should listen to your grandmother and your aunt. Um, the best thing for you right now is, is to stay close to your family. You know, I mean, even though he doesn't have his mother, well, he has the two of you and, well, his uncles and, well, Mr. Winthrop. I mean, Mr. Winthrop, he'll, he'll always do what's best for you. Well, I'm just so pleased to take care of your grandchildren. I mean, they are just so wonderful. Well, neither one of them are angels. Oh, but it would be dull to take care of angels. I mean, Jane, oh, she is just a little firecracker. And, well, little Ethan, oh, sometimes he can be as stubborn as a mule. Hey. Oh, well, that's what you get for eavesdropping. Oh, but they are loving, they are bright, they are honest, and mm, 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 such good manners. Well, they get that all from Teresa. She was a wonderful mother. She lived for these children. And... Now that she's gone, I, I feel a greater responsibility to make sure that they're raised correctly. So, what is your child-rearing philosophy? My philosophy? Yes, you're going to be with my grandchildren day and night, and I just want to make sure that you have their best interest at heart. Oh, you don't have to worry about me one bit. Mm -mm, I love my children. Your children? 
Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Why did you refer to the children as your children? Oh, excuse me. I just misspoke. Neither one of you have ever cared for children professionally, right? No. Well, it's just... Uh, it's so silly, but... In a way, they... They do become your children. You know? I mean, that's the way I think of them in my mind. And while I'm here, baby Jonathan will help me my baby as well. Hmm. Well, I think that's rather sweet. Well, yeah. If you want to know my philosophy on, on raising children, well... It's really rather simple. Um... I believe in keeping them close, making them feel secure. I encourage them when they do well. I punish them when they misbehave. I watch them like eagles to make sure they know the difference between right and wrong. I try to teach them the value of honest, hard work. But most importantly, ooh, I just shower them with love. Lots and lots and lots of love. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm all right. That's just, that's exactly the sort of thing Teresa used to say. I, I just, uh, I just want to do for my children what my mother did for me. I'd like to meet her sometime. Well, it's a good thing that you're here to take care of little Ethan and Jane. Um, could I, excuse me. Uh, I shouldn't be gossiping. But I don't think that Gwen has little Ethan and Jane's best interest at heart. Uh, <clears throat> did I just hear my name? Speak of the devil. Uh, okay, are you talking about me? You all were talking about Gwen. I hope it was good things. Naturally. Yeah, we were just simply uh, complimenting Gertrude on her skills and saying what a what a good job Gwen did when she hired her. Well, thank you, but it actually wasn't me. I only agreed to hire Gertrude after my mother and Ivy did the whole nanny search. Oh, and that just worked out, didn't it? That's just so special. Sweetheart, would you like to go downstairs and get some breakfast? Um, actually, I came in here to talk to the leaf. About what? All the children that I take care of start their morning with a good, big breakfast. So uh, whatever it is, can wait, can't it, Mr. Winthrop? Um, actually, it can't. You're not in trouble, are you? I hope not. Okay, good. And give me a hug. I love you. I'm going to be late for work. My mama. Bye. And, um, thank you so much for taking care of my niece and nephew. I feel better now, okay? 